up everybody? My name is Ryan Jones and I am the host of the program Ryan with the Knee. Where we will have candid, honest, hilarious, and sometimes even serious conversations about the topics and happenings that are pertinent to young women and college students like myself. I will be opening up about my experiences as I navigate my way through adulthood with the help of my homegirls, my role models, and of course, God. Thank you so much for tuning in to laugh, learn, and kick it with your girl, Ryan with the knee. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ryan with an E. I am your host, Ryan Jones. That's R Y A N E. And I'm so happy that you have tuned in to kick it with your girl. Today I have a special guest, my homegirl, my good sis, Faith Lindsay. Yes, um, Faith, you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey y'all, I'm Faith Lindsay. I'm an 18-year-old. Um, can I say where? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Let them know. So I'll most likely be going to Temple University in Philadelphia for art history and public relations. So like I said, Faith is my good, good friend. I've known her for years. We've went to Sunday school together. She is my creative friend. Like, when I say she's so creative, we do our photo shoots. I'd be like, Faith, can we take some pictures? And she always has a vision. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you see my birthday video that I made. Faith was the creative director. She filmed it, produced it, edited. She's that woman. <laughs> If you don't have a friend like Faith, I need you to go look and search and find one because she is the best kind of friend to have and I love her so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you too. Okay, so as you can see, she's dressed. She has on a fit. She is ready for the show. And Faith is like <laughs> such a style icon. So I thought it would be great to have her on and talk to her about cultivating your own sense of style, sense of fashion. And most of the people watching this are probably young girls, high school, college age. And uh, yeah, like you shop and go to Forever 21 or shop on Shein, but you don't really have your own sense of style. So today we're going to be talking about how to cultivate that. But before we jump into that, we want to go to our Queen's Corner. Mm -hmm. And so, Faith, do you have any pieces of advice or wisdom you want to share with younger people watching this? Mm -hmm. What do you got to say? Okay, so I think for me personally, right now, I've been going through this thing that I like to call my pleasure journey. So, okay. um, basically not putting yourself in a box. I think we all have these dreams and have told people, I want to do this, I want to do that. We have like checklists of things we want to do. And like that is fine and dandy or whatever. But um, I think it's good for you to always broaden your horizons. Don't like, like try new things. If that doesn't work, go to something else and, and make sure that whatever you're doing is, whatever you're doing is bringing you joy. Right. Um, so that's, that's my piece of advice. Yes, pleasure journey. It's yeah, so your pleasure journey. Yes, exactly. She always she always knows. Like, what do we do? We do Max together. Mm -hmm. We um, I we weren't in the same time, but we did Teen Council, which is at Planned Parenthood. I had left before mm -hmm. she got there. But you let me know that I needed to do yes, it. Yes, so we love Teen so Council. So she, she just passed the reins to me. Yes, the baton. We passed the baton. Yeah. So yes, we... This is my good friend. She's very wise, and she always puts me in check. We always check on each other. Yes, my sis. So let's get into these questions that I have for Faith, because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to wear and how to establish my own sense of fashion. My mom picks out most of my clothes, and I like. I feel like I don't know how to shop for myself. Look, if your mama pick out your clothes, she be doing good. Okay. Shout out to my mama. Miss Anthony, <laughs> shout out to you. <laughs> she be knowing, but I feel like, what am I going to do in college? I gotta pick out an outfit. I can't get my mama to. Yeah, I gotta figure it out. But yeah, so my mama be knowing. She be she be dressed. And be FaceTiming your mama. Yeah, it's like mama. What should I do? I can't be doing that. I'm about to be grown. I can't keep doing this like y'all. 
Okay, so let's get into these questions. So question number one. So what is your favorite color to wear? Like start out slow, I guess. Okay, Um, I don't think I have a favorite color to wear, but when I wash my clothes, like you know when you wash your clothes, you can see yeah. what color you have the most of. I have mostly dark colors. Okay, okay. But I like to wear any color. Like I'm not a person who's scared of color. I will wear anything and everything. I so. Should. And you think like that's how people should form their wardrobe? Like not necessarily sticking to one color, but just being open to different things. I don't think it's necessarily it has to be that way. Like if your color, if you're comfortable with wearing all neutrals, I want you to wear all neutrals, <laughs> right. okay? Because if you're not comfortable, it can tell. Like everybody can tell, yeah. and that 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 think that's what's the most important thing about style. It's about if what you're comfortable in, because you want to be confident. Exactly. In it, you know what I'm saying? So if you're not comfortable wearing bright red, neon green, do not wear Don't that. Don't do it, babe. You Don't ain't got to. Who you trying I to want impress? Because I can tell. <laughs> I'ma keep it, and I'm like, oh, she looks very uncomfortable. You know, your, your outfit was a ten, but the your comfortability you're with not it, in it was not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You weren't compatible. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. So what are some things to keep that are like really important to keep in mind whenever you're going shopping? So whether that's going to Ross, which is like my guilty pleasure, I'm mm -hmm. always in Ross, or just going to the mall or whatever, like what are the most important things to keep in mind? I think um, one of the most important things to keep in mind is to kind of have a purpose okay. with what you're going with. See, I don't be having a purpose. Because look, if, if you go in there, <laughs> Look, I've I see I've seen like her chronicles with her with her Ross and T J Maxx and all those things, and she just pop in there and come back out. And now she just got random stuff. And I just like, spent two hundred dollars. You like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, I just got. Or this. when we went thrift shopping, and I was like, I don't know. Yeah, she was just like, I, I don't really know what I'm looking for. It's like. I don't know what to tell you, especially if you're going thrifting. Yeah. Especially if you're going thrifting, especially if you're going consignment shopping. Like, if, if you don't, sometimes if you go in there, it's just like, oh, I have like a loose idea. Yeah. It works. But if you don't really know what style you're going for, you're going to be lost. Okay. And yeah. It's going to take all your energy. It's not going to be any fun. And style is always about having fun if you're not having fun like what's the point exactly you know? i always get really overwhelmed going into thrift shopping like there's so much stuff mm -hmm. but yeah having going in with intention yeah yes is that's the most important thing and then because when you don't go go in with intention now you just spend a whole bunch of money you get look it's like the target thing i feel like that's how you always go like with target yeah you'd be like oh i'm gonna go get one thing and, and then, then your leave. attention is just like disappear once you walk to that store exactly. you get up to the cashier register and you like wow <laughs> did I really spend that much maybe I should put something back <laughs> yes maybe you should return <laughs> everything because all I came in there was put some dishwashing liquid yeah. and now I got a dog leash and, and I don't even have a dog <laughs> not a dog leash <laughs> I feel like I'll do that because it was cute and had the sparkles on it and I was like oh that's cute I'm gonna take this dog leash so yeah Focus so and that's why you should have intention. <laughs> intention. It's the okay. intention. Okay. So how does one find stable pieces instead of shopping for outfits for specific occasions? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um for staple pieces, sometimes I think it's important, sometimes not so much. Like some people are like, oh, you gotta have a capsule collection of clothes. You have to have your black turtleneck, yeah. your nice fitting pair of jeans, your little black dress. You have to have a nice crisp white t-shirt. Yeah. That's really boring, you know? Yeah, like when I hear that, I'm not intrigued by it whatsoever. Yeah. And it's like, I get, I get like if you're like, oh, those are um, pieces that you can layer with. Like mm -hmm. it's good to have those type of things so, so you can put other things that are more, more interesting on top of it, but I don't know if that's necessary like, what I would tell you if you really want to cultivate style. Yeah. Like those are necessities. To, to cultivate style, you want more than that. You want a little bit of pizzazz, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. Okay, so like, well the other end of that question is like, cause I know sometimes if like, oh I have somewhere to go this weekend, how do I quit shopping for, or do you think it's not a problem to shop for special occasions? Cause I've heard people saying like, stop shopping for an event and just shop for your wardrobe. I think it's very important to shop for your wardrobe. Okay. I agree with that statement because when you shop for events, you get things that are like one-time uses. Exactly. Yeah. And so 
one thing that I think that goes with style is like with these sparkly pants. A lot of people would know. not wear these on a regular day. They like, okay, I'm gonna wear this <laughs> on my birthday. I'm gonna wear it when I'm going out right. to the club. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> 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 they, they said they said these are special occasion yes. pants, but when you're shopping for your wardrobe, I think those special pieces should be more should. Um, hold up. But I think when you're shopping for your wardrobe instead of for occasions, mm -hmm. these pieces are more. I can wear this any day. Exactly. So like I'm gonna wear this to school. I'm gonna wear it when I'm just going shopping because because right. I feel like That's it. Her, it because though. it because I pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Like we Point blank. We gonna have stuff in our closet collecting <laughs> dust. Okay, we gonna dust it off, pull right. it out, put it on, and walk out the door. Exactly. And I think I like shit on TikTok sometimes where it's like just get dressed. Like you don't have to keep mm -hmm. saving your outfits for these special occasions. Yes. If you wanna look cute to go to Kroger. Or even at house, sometimes I do that. Not oh, that yeah. much. Look, it's quarantine. <laughs> So I'd be, I'd be like gonna be comfortable, comfortable with that house. So I would not be wearing these because these are a little bit tight, <laughs> okay? But um, right. with, when you're feeling like it, when you need a little bit of pick me up, you can wear wear your cute clothes. Do a little makeup, do your hair, yeah. brush your teeth. And if you're like, oh, I need a purpose for this outfit and you're, you're just like staying at the house, you know what right. I'm saying? Maybe go out and drive someone to take pictures. Get a tripod. That's me. Get a tripod, take pictures by yourself. And it, there you go. Now you got a purpose for the outfit. Exactly. Now you have memories of something. You can show your grandkids one day. Look. <laughs> I was a baddie. Look, yo granny was fly. <laughs> yo granny was she fly. She was woman. Me, I want kids. Some of me the auntie. Yo auntie was fly. <laughs> Say don't want kids. <laughs> she gonna be telling my kids, yeah. Yeah. She was it. Yo auntie she was, was fly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Well, I can wait. I she will wait. wait. <laughs> That's a conversation for another day. Uh, <laughs> oh, my mom going with my butt. Um, <laughs> question number four: um, Do you have a favorite brand or designer? No. Okay. No. No. That's what I, I would say no. Yeah, because I shop everywhere. Like we've already talked about, we kind of touched on thrift, sto thrift stores and consignment stores. I like to shop like small businesses, black brands, like right. accessories and stuff like that. I can go to any store, cheap, expensive, and find something that's nice. Exactly. It's all about like having an eye to spot what is quality and what is not. So it doesn't really matter the price. Like expensive brands can be poorly made a lot of the times, or just not worth the cost. It could be the name that is giving it, giving it. Right. It's like you know, it's cost. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like, oh, this brand is my favorite. You know. Yeah, because I don't have a favorite brand like. Like I said, I be shopping at Ross. Mm -hmm. I shop at Target. I shop at TJ Maxx. TJ and Maxx I've never been place. like a person who was like, oh my God, I have to get these mm -hmm. Louis pant, I don't Louis purse or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like a, I don't have to get something that has a name brand attached to it. Cause that's yeah. never really been something that. And that's not style. No. Like wearing designer or wearing just a certain brand. That's not what you consider style. Exactly. Yeah. I agree a hundred percent. Okay, question number five. So, how does one go about experimenting with a new style of clothing? So, I want to embark on this journey mm -hmm. of finding my style, but how, what are my steps in order to really get to that place I want to be? That's a good question. Hmm. Mm. That's a good question. It's a little bit hard for me to answer. Okay. But, and I'll just like tell you why, because like, I feel like for me, my journey with fashion has been like very long. Like yeah. I've always like, even since I was like little or middle school, I've always like experimented with fashion. Mm -hmm. And like my brother's a fashion designer. Tell him about your brother. My brother is Zach Lindsay, baby. Okay. Zach Lindsay. The <laughs> fashion designer. Okay. He just released a collection. Y'all better go buy his stuff. Hit him up. You know, luxury. <laughs> okay. Right. But um, he, and he's been, Ever since we were little, like, I don't know, elementary school, he would dress me up and, like, take the curtains and wrap them around me and, like, you know, sew it down a little yeah. bit. So that's all, that's been my experience. Even, like, with thrift stores. Some people are not comfortable with, with thrift stores and stuff like that. But when I was younger, my family, we just didn't have the money. So right. we had to go to thrift stores. And that was, it, it was just framed as an experience that was like a treasure hunt. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So that's how we, that's how I kind of cultivated my style. It's like, ooh, let me see what I can find exactly. type of thing. And that's beautiful. Yes. And so like for me, it's been a journey of just like trying different things, seeing what works, see what doesn't work. And you know, and when you're younger, for me at least, it's kind of shameless. Like you're not, yeah. nobody's going to remember if you wore something <laughs> that was just not it. <laughs> okay. I have plenty of outfits that was not it. And you know, the pictures that we take, you know, we look back at the pictures, we're like, what, what is that? was we wearing? Was, remember like the face, well, I don't even know if you really went through that face since you were like way cooler than I was, like in, in terms of fashion, like I had an obsession with bows and so like, but like not hair bows, like bow ties. And oh. <laughs> Okay, but I know what you're talking. It was like the bow ties with, with the lens with no uh, the glasses with no lens. Yeah, so like type thing. I was really into that. And like I wanted to wear a bow tie like every day to school and a collared shirt. Why though? Like why would I? Who told me to do this? And my mom like I really have been with her about this because why would she let me walk out the house like this? She was letting you express yourself. I and did look, not need that, that level that of autonomy. Is part, that is part of her style <laughs> journey. She can look back at that and be like, I came so far. <laughs> and that's what it's all about. Like yeah. <laughs> trying things and seeing if it works. And if it doesn't, so be it. It's in the past. We moving forward. <laughs> and we moving forward more stylish, yes. cuter, better. Okay. Period. I'ma just we gonna ignore that phase of my life though. It didn't it didn't happen. It didn't. Or maybe it did. We we can address it and let it be. And I'ma let it rest. But I think what's most important when you say like how can we find our style? It's all about having confidence. Mm -hmm. So like I said, even if you are wearing the most outrageous, or not even the most outrageous, even if you feel like it's something that you haven't tried before, it's all about having confidence. And if you feel like you are lacking in that area, then it's also about just putting yourself outside of your exactly. comfort zone. If you don't feel confident to wear it, wear it anyway. And like, see what happens. Like, what, what's gonna be the worst thing that happens if you wear something that's different? Like, if you're not used to wearing skirts or if you're not used to wearing bright colors, what's the worst thing that, that can happen? Like, most of the times, people don't even pay attention to you and your outfit. That's why you should wear what you want. Yeah. Because nobody Nobody's else. Nobody's checking for you. Nobody's serious. And even if they are checking for you and trying to laugh or whatever, that just shows that they're too insecure to. But like I said, that's the worst thing yeah, exactly. that's going to happen. Some random person that you probably don't know might give you a look that you don't like, but, okay, we're moving on. <laughs> next next step. <laughs> next thing. And I feel like that's how you can build your personal style. Like I said, it's all about confidence with style. Right. You Obviously figure out what makes you feel good, what doesn't, there and keep going with that. There it is. Okay, so this question is kind of similar, kind of not. Um, it says, what are the steps for planning the perfect outfit? Mm. So like, in your mind, like you have an event coming up, a special occasion. What is your perfect outfit? How does that go for mm. planning it, I guess? And we don't have no stylists, so we got to work ourselves. Hmm. Planning a perfect outfit. Yeah. So maybe it'll be easy if I give you an event. So maybe okay. we go to the Met Gala. We go to the Met Gala. We go to the Met Gala, and I don't know what the theme is. The theme is Black Girl Magic. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna wear? Okay, Black Girl Magic. So first off, in my closet, I don't think I got nothing for the Met Gala. <laughs> so uh, we gonna have to be cultivating Creative. some ideas yeah. in my head, you know what I'm saying? See what's going up, going on up there, look at your budget, see what you can do, see what you can pull off. Go from there and we could, like I said, we could go to thrift stores for, I don't know, never mind, take that out. Because <laughs> we go into the Met Gala. <laughs> what are, how am I playing my outfit for the Met Gala? Yo, that's a hard one. It is hard. Met Gala, I ain't never been in that situation. So you don't have to like plan out the outfit specifically. Just say like. Maybe we should do this. I don't know what to How I plan out my outfits is I think about them for a while. Like okay. I'm the type of person who leaves my closet open and I can see my clothes. So sometimes I just like imagine. Like it, it, for me, it's exciting. Like fashion is exciting for me. Art is exciting for me. Creativity is exciting for me. And fashion is a part of the creative side, right? Right. So just as like I would like dream or think about, daydream about like a photography project or some art project, I dream about like a new outfit I want to wear. And 
So I'm like, okay, so what would this look like? I try the outfits on before I go. That's a tip. Yes. That's a tip. On. Try your outfit on before the day because if you're like, oh, I think this outfit is about to look real good on me, and then you put it on and the proportions are just not working, something is off, you're gonna be mad. Because then you're gonna story. have to, because then you're gonna have to figure out another that outfit. outfit yeah. And that's how you end up with those days where all of your clothes are all over your room and it's like a tornado just flew through. Yeah. That's why I like to try on my outfits before. What I think about in my head, I guess that's a tip then. Yeah. So try on your outfits before the day. Even like if you don't necessarily have an event to go to and you're just like, okay, this is something that I can wear in the future. Try it on so that you will always be ready. You right. know? Get be ready. So that you won't get ready. Yeah, so that you won't have them times mm -hmm. where it's like, oh my god, I don't even know what I'm about to wear. Be when prepared. you have outfits planned out, just like, ah. Oh. I could get this real quick and yeah, we're good. I'm taking notes because every day I try to get ready for the show, I have an outfit and I try it on, I'm like, this is a mess, I can't. <laughs> and I, my room looks like a tornado because I didn't put all my clothes everywhere. Okay, so let's see. Don't put that in Rico, that was bad. <laughs> um, so do you have a style icon? Mm -hmm. I think I have many style icons. Okay. Like for me, I follow a lot of black stylists, like a lot of black women who are in the fashion industry, who are like editors of The Cut, of Vogue magazine, Teen Vogue. I follow all these black women who are like super creative. I follow celebrity stylists. I get inspiration from them. Mm -hmm. And like those are my style icons. I think. Okay, period. Yeah. Curiosity. that's my new word y'all, curiosity. Okay. <laughs> Rico's gonna do something crazy with that, I already know. Okay, um, okay, so how can someone at our age, cause we broke, mm -hmm. we ain't got no money, um, shop within our budget while also getting good quality clothing? We already brought it up, thrift and consignment. We got some good thrift and consignment in the city. Like I went to, there's a flea market called Florida Lee Flea Market. I think it's in Germantown. Okay. That's a good one. There's a couple good consignment stores on Baxter Avenue um, and Barkstown Road. You can go to Goodwill. Sometimes those places, could, Goodwill can be intimidating for some people. So I think a lot of times consignment stores or um, Florida League is kind of like a consignment store as well. Um, those places are more curated, yeah. so you might not have what some what what some people would think of as junk. You know what I'm saying? Like those throwaway pieces that Goodwill might have. So going to those places first might be better. It's a little bit more expensive to than a thrift store. Like you won't be paying five dollars. You might be paying like twenty dollars, but mm -hmm. it's not as expensive as, as of like a retail store. Right. You know? Got you. Yeah. Thrifting is it? Yes, thrifting is in. Do it. Okay, so. So we've listed these places already, but what are your favorite places? Where are your favorite places to shop? Online shopping or going in the stores? Like, what are your top stores? Okay, so thrifting and retail. Like I said, like I don't think I have a favorite store, but or like favorite places because I I will look anywhere to find something yeah. cute as long as it's not too cheap. Like honestly, I don't shop at like Shein or places like that, girl. I just can't trust it. And I know some, some people, they yeah. be finding some good stuff on there. But, but I'm curious. just like, yeah. ooh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Because I know some, I've heard people say those are those stores are places that it's like, once you watch it one time, the shirt is gone. Yeah, I don't wash my clothes from Shein. It's one hit a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, first off, that's not sustainable. Yeah. It's not good for the environment, y'all. It's not. Take notes. It's not. Like, I, that, that's coming from somebody who likes to shop like having so much is not always necessary mm -hmm. have the things that you need and that you love and not all the extra is sometimes I feel like we just shop because we got an itch let's get away from that I have to me I'll be having to control myself sometimes it's like oh I got an itch I feel like I need to buy something yeah. like it was just this weekend I was like oh I feel like I need to buy something but I had to restrict myself because you don't need it or actually I didn't, I didn't like really restrict myself I just bought some rings I saw them. That the was rings cute. that I posted. That was cute. But it, you know, it, it was a little cheap itch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It. it was so <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um So being that you are so knowledgeable in fashion and style, would you say that you plan to have a career in styling, fashion, whatever? Like what are your plans for the future? Hmm. I don't necessarily think that I will, but like I was talking about earlier, it's all about a pleasure journey. Um, if it's something that interests me and if there's the opportunity that comes up and it's like, oh yeah, I can do that, 
I would love to, cause why yeah. not? You know, I have a lot of things that I want to do in life, and I'm not gonna be one of those people who's like, oh, this is a career, and I'm gonna do this for 20 years. I'm down to do a million and one things. Right. We gonna we gonna earn our little seven. What, what's this like? Seven seven ways of income or whatever. Oh, yeah. Seven streams of income. Yes. We gonna get the seven streams we'll of income. And if it includes fashion, it will include fashion. Absolutely. Like I said, I'm going to school for art history. And so, like, I'm really interested in art and just creating spaces for black creative people. So, like I said, fashion is part of creativity, too. So I'm sure that it will be a part of my life. Absolutely. That was a part of everybody's life. Everybody. We, we all, we wear, all clothes. wear clothes. We all wear clothes. And if you can be stylish and cute while you do what you need to have on, like... You might as well. You might as well do it. Yes. Like, let's be cute. I want to see more beautiful beautiful outfits out yes, here. Yes, let's, okay, let's stick the title. Let's be cute. Uh -huh. Let's be cute. Let's be cute. <laughs> we like that. We love it. <laughs> we love to be cute. <laughs> so, yeah, so that is our episode. Thank you so much, Faith, for coming and joining me. Thank you for having me, sis. And we kikied. We had a good time. We talked about the good stuff. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Ryan with an E. I am your host, Ryan Jones. That's R-Y-A-N-E. And I am logging out. Peace out, guys. Thank you.